Hi guys, here's an example of how to fit SCM models using R and the Lavan package. We'll first load the necessary libraries. Lavan, which stands for Latent Variable Analysis, and SCM plot, which we will use to plot the model. The data we will use is the political democracy data, which was the main example given throughout Boland's book, Structural Equations with Latent Variables. The data consists of 11 observed variables, two sets of four variables, measuring political democracy, these are the Ys as they are the manifestations of the endogenous variables and three extra variables measuring industrialization. These are the Xs as they are the manifestation of exogenous variable. We write the model as a string as follows. The measurement model is written using the equal tilde sign, which can be translated into manifested by. That is the latent variable in 60 is manifested by X1, X2 and X3. We write the structural model or the regressions using the tilde sign, just like regular regressions in R. Finally, we specify the correlations using double tildes. In this example, since DEM60 and DEM65 are the same variables only five years apart, we expect some correlations between them. In the book, it is also explained that the 1960 measures of Y2 and Y4 and the 1965 ones of Y6 and Y8 are from the same data source. Hence, there is some correlation expected there as well. I already plotted the model here on the right. You can see it's pretty similar to the example from the theoretical video about SEM. To fit a simple SEM model, we use the SEM command, passing in the model string and the data. We can also just pass the covariance matrix and the number of observations, as the data covariance matrix is the only thing used in the estimation. We can view a summary of the results using the summary command. The outputs give us a lot of data. First, it gives us the estimated method, in this case, maximum likelihood, the optimization technique, the number of parameters estimated, the number of observations. There's also a basic chi-square goodness of fit test, which here looks good, but in general has been shown to be too strict. The main outputs are the coefficients themselves, their standard errors and their p-values which tells us which coefficient seems to be significant and what is their magnitude. We can also inspect different things from the model using the love inspect command. Here we can get the sample covariance, the implied covariance using the estimated coefficients, and the residuals between the two. We can also get the estimates and extract them to use in further manual computations. If we want to force the measurement coefficients to be the same for DEM60 and DEM65, we can do this by naming or defining their coefficients and then using the same symbols for the other equations. Here in DEM60, I named them A1 to A4 and use them again for DEM65. We can see that now the coefficients for them, the lambda wise, are the same. There are also more ways to control and tweak the model. I will link a PDF tutorial to this video. Finally, this is how I plotted the model using the sempaths command from the semplot library. The important argument passed in is the fit object. The rest are just graphical options of what and how to plot. That's all for this video. See you in the next one.